With a speed of 2 meters per second and a payload of up to 80 kilograms, this robot is currently accessible to anyone with $2,900 to spare. It can balance itself on its two big wheels and, if necessary, tilt by leaning on the two small wheels. It can easily handle any type of work, including delivery, warehouse work, assistance in the office, and entertainment. It even jumps 8 centimeters and moonwalks when necessary to keep the user happy. One charge is sufficient for the robot. I want a larger version that I can see riding like a motorbike. Motocross with barriers adds a user, and we wonder if the creators considered this. The next advancement is for hunters to help combat unneeded odors. According to the designers, their product provides continuous active scent control that works before, during, and after your hunt. In addition, the device will be useful at home, in the office, and anywhere else. It can be used for about 8 to 10 hours on one charge and is intuitively easy to operate even with gloves on and in the dark. It's no surprise that this robotic platform for orchards and vineyards originated in New Zealand given that its architecture is modular and it can perform other equally important tasks such as fighting weeds, cutting grass, and spraying crops. Did you know that New Zealand is one of the most innovative countries in terms of agriculture? One reason for this is the lack of government subsidies. And this sledge is a wonderful choice for families. It had a hatch in the floor for convenient fishing, a suspension for a leisurely trip, lighting, a USB port, and upholstery with heat and noise insulation. The cargo was either 250 or 380 kilograms. Yet another MIT invention, a computer model for a 3D printed robotic heart, allows for consideration of the unique requirements of each patient. And because the hearts are produced with specific polymer inks, they maintain their elasticity even after being hardened. For instance, this procedure is crucial because certain areas of the hearts of many patients with impaired heart function are weak or overloaded. Additionally, 3D hearts will be helpful for training new doctors and ideally the entire process of building new hearts. Hearts help choose treatment options and doctors use them to check the effects of various implants. The model should be printed and activated in a day. We doubt that anyone is left who hasn't heard of the metaverse, a permanent virtual environment where users communicate and have fun as they please using avatars. While Mark Zuckerberg is developing the concept, Japanese tech giant Sony unveiled these sensors last year. They allow avatars to precisely mimic the movements of their owners. The sensors are called Makapi and consist of six sensors for the wrists, ankles, head, and pelvis. They will cost Japanese customers 360 ever. A similar concept was presented by Nissan 10 years ago, but this model was developed by an American team as for their project they write the following. Smart electronics will help you steer and you can switch modes at will switching between in sports and comfort, they write. Cars got their share of new technologies as well are July the idea of removing the steering column and other weird metal pieces now. It will be simpler for drivers to operate the vehicles in adverse weather conditions as they become lighter and more maneuverable. The amount of steering wheel turn a driver needs to make to control the vehicle could be automatically adjusted in accordance with the conditions and speed of the vehicle. The advancement is also suitable for autopilot. According to this company, they already have 250 modernization orders worth a total of $1 billion, and Air New Zealand, New Zealand's largest air carrier, is among their customers. The idea of this upgrade is to replace conventional engines with electric ones powered directly by hydrogen, like in Back to the Future flying cars. However, hydrogen fuel cell planes aren't all that bad either, especially since they are expected to be mass-produced as early as 2025. The test aircraft successfully stayed in the air for 15 minutes and ascended 3.5 kilometers above sea level, possibly ushering in a new era in aviation. Approximately 10% of the world's energy needs might be met by wave energy by the year 2050, according to experts. Since the market will be worth around $100 billion, many people, for instance, want a piece of the action.
Brazil has a 7,500 km coastline and with the right strategy, they could meet up to 17 of its energy demands and establish exports. It works as follows. Levers move up and down to create fresh water pressure in the reservoir, which is connected to the pressure chamber so the pressurized water moves the turbine, which turns. 20 of these plants with a total capacity of about 500 kilowatts. Since quite some time, ERS from Pliant Energy Systems has been working on the most recent technologies in the fields of marine energy and robotics in particular. They researched renewable energy sources, or more specifically wave energy, and they were so successful that the principles of its collecting wave energy were used to create the fins of this unusual robot. The initially strange device floats and moves confidently on snow, ice, and sand doesn't get tangled in algae or debris. The appearance of the robots and that of the fossil Anomalocaris, as was noted by readers in the comments, have some similarities. This is a search and surveillance device that can be mounted on aircraft and helicopters. It operates day and night and has a 180 degree field of view. The module weighs 21 kilograms and can be fixed on unique mounts or installed in nose cones for particular vehicles because of its design. It can also be given in a symmetrical arrangement, such as for both wings of a high-wing aircraft, and because to the excellent software, it is simple to manage even for those who are not very experienced. It is only 86.5 centimeters long, making it appropriate for various drones. With the correct t-shirt, a warehouse worker may rapidly locate a box using a novel augmented reality system that was demonstrated by a team from MIT. The system's key feature is the capacity to search for hidden things. Its search accuracy is around 10 centimeters, and tests were successful in 96 of the cases. Given the vastness of current warehouses, the system's possibilities are high. It is based on the Microsoft HoloLens headgear and employs radio frequency signals and RFID stickers.